Hi y'all, today we're making Easy Cheesy Quiche and it is really great. I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, it's a very simple recipe, no no frills, very easy to do. Um, all you've got to do is fry up this uh, onion here. We're sauteing one small onion and no, I did not dice this onion into uniform small pieces. I have a hard time doing that. Uh, my sizes are all over the place but uh, you should try to to dice your onion into uniform size pieces because they'll cook more evenly and uh, I don't know maybe faster I don't know what they do um, now here we've got three uh, eggs and I find it interesting how the one is uh, kind of nesting in the other one I don't know why I, I it's the smallest things amuse me okay so here's three eggs and I'm beating them just a little bit uh, to uh, get them uh, more easy to mix with the other ingredients now here's one cup of heavy cream and uh, there's a little confusion sometimes with this this is the same thing as as whipping cream um, so you could use those interchangeably and uh, yes that's the same thing you could bring that home and whip that up and make your own whipped cream that, that would uh, do the trick for that all right, now here is half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of basil. All and I really like the, the little green specks the oregano and the basil make here. I just mm, I love it when this cooks you can just see it all through it and it just looks so appetizing it really looks fantastic to me I, I hope you like it I, I think it's really great and uh, oh and by the way go back and watch me put this salt in honey I did not measure that right I think I measured it and then forgot I did and measured it back into another cup I mean to the cup again um, because I had at least double the amount of salt if not more that is the saltiest thing I have ever eaten <laughs> it was good I guess but it was salty all right here are the onions making an appearance again um, I cooked them till they were pretty brown but I like them like that so it's okay um, but uh, you don't have to like them like that uh, so uh, and they only have to cook like you know maybe four minutes something like that um, but here they are back back again and now here's one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese and uh, cheese is expensive um, but I always am looking for it on the buy one get ones because it freezes nicely um, so uh, you can stock up and uh, here's the um, shredded cheddar as well and um, these uh, actually I bought these already shredded for me you will find sometimes on those buy one get ones and the big store sales that the shredded costs about the same or maybe maybe 10 cents more um, than the uh, block cheese so watch for that because I mean if they're gonna shred it for you why not I I, I have no problem with it um, okay and here is your prepared pie crust and uh, if it's a store-bought frozen crust you want to have it out and thawed uh, and you know room temperature uh, before you use it and uh, we're just pouring the, the filling in that's one unique thing about this quiche recipe we're not putting in a layer and then like throw then uh, pouring in the egg mixture over it and then sprinkling in the cheese I mean we're just pouring it all in it's so easy uh, I mean this is I mean, this has got to be the easiest quiche recipe ever and I don't know why I'm doing this what am I doing like spreading it around it's all mixed up there's no spreading okay now here I'm uh, uh, putting some aluminum foil around the uh, edge of the the crust and um, this probably will look silly to you but think about it um, like at Thanksgiving particularly pumpkin pies um, the crust is always brown uh, too brown sometimes even black because um, the crust cooks way faster than the filling that's in it and so it'll burn and the filling will still be raw in the middle um, so protect your pie crust guys protect your pie crust all right and then I've put the pie on this uh, baking sheet and it's going to go in a 475 degree Fahrenheit oven for 30 to uh, yes 30 to 40 minutes and until a toothpick comes out clean and here it is it's a lovely quiche 
and who knows how that piece got missing out of it. All right, thanks for watching, and as always, you've been in the kitchen with Dinah.